Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. So today we are actually going to start off by talking about Dossier. Dossier reproduces high quality luxury scents at a fraction of the cost because they're able to cut the brand tax. I've tried a lot of their perfumes at this point and their smells are fantastic and they always have such great wear times. So let's check out what this one is. Okay, so this one is ooh, aromatic star anise. So I'm actually gifting this one to my boyfriend because I wanted a male perspective on what their male scents smelled like. So let's just try it for ourselves first. I think I'll definitely like that for a guy. So this one is inspired by Dior Sauvage and they just describe it as full of fresh masculinity. Anyways, the great thing about Dossier is that they have a risk-free system. You can return any unsealed 50 milliliter bottle at no cost to you and no questions asked, and free shipping is included. Let's try out our next one, and I know this one is going to be more of a girly scent, so I'm excited to try it. It's for me. This one is Fruity Jasmine. Let's do our first test spritz on this one. Mm, it smells very clean. Now the thing I love about Dossier is that they are paraben and phthalate free. They are also vegan and cruelty free. And if it is your first time trying Dossier, they have a welcome offer where you can get up to 20% off. And they also have book deals where you can get 10, 15, or 20% off depending on how much you order. Plus in the United States, you can get free shipping on three plus bottles of Dossier. So we will try out these scents for the next few days and then give you guys our review. Okay, so I've tried the perfumes out for a couple of days. Now here is my review. In terms of Fruity Jasmine, I really liked it. They describe it as an instant mood booster and it is inspired by Dior's J'adore. I think it's the most perfect spring scent. It's very light and airy. Moving on to aromatic Star Anise, the one that I gave to my boyfriend. He really liked this one. It smells like a very expensive aftershave. It's very masculine. I feel like it would be good for a night out on the town, a fancy event, even good for work. Anyways, if you wanna get it for the man in your life, I would recommend that. Or if you wanna smell like a man to make another man jealous, you could do that too. That's your prerogative. So if you wanna try out any of these scents, do check out Dossier using the link in my description box below. Now let's go thrifting. So today we are at Valley Village and we're gonna be thrifting for spring. Now I'm gonna try to find some more like 2000s Y2K inspired spring pieces. I don't really know what we're gonna find. I do have some exchanges from last time, but anyways, let's go inside and see what we can find. I wasn't planning on stopping here, but these Eddie Bauer Capris with the wide thick puff are really, really cute. Like I said, I love these, but they were ultimately too small. Now, capris are perfect for 2000s fashion. <laughs> we see them everywhere, but they're also just perfect for spring in general because you can find cute little flower patterns like this. They can be made in linen like this, and they're like the perfect marrying between shorts and long pants, so they're really good for spring weather. I love these flowery capris, but they will ultimately be just like too small. So sad I couldn't get these, but now I know what I want to look for, and then I just stopped by the bowls randomly and found this little Pyrex mushroom bowl. Love it. Next, I went to the shorts, and I found these white shorts that aren't 2000s, but they were really good for spring. I had such good luck in the jeans last time. Let's check them out again. And you can do so much with jeans in the spring. You can wear them with a cute little cardigan buttoned all the way up. You can use them to dress down a button down. You can wear a little crop top or a little blouse with it, a t-shirt, really anything. But unfortunately, I didn't find anything in the jeans or the pants. We have not been overly successful. Let's go to the dresses. The first thing that I found was this green linen dress. I love linen, but I didn't love this bottom thing. And also this green would completely wash me out. I liked this flower pattern. It was 100% synthetic. And this would have been perfect for 2000 spring. But ultimately, it just wasn't great quality. I am not having great luck in the dresses either. This kind of sucks. So we had horrible luck in the dresses. Let's check out the long sleeve next now. Last time I found a bunch of stuff that was this brand as well, and I actually bought one thing. I think it's super cute, and I actually really like this long sleeve. It's not really interesting, but I think the belt doesn't fit the shirt, like, fit-wise. We then moved on over to the short sleeve knits because even though you need long sleeves still in spring, you definitely also need to be prepared with short sleeves. I love the neckline on this. I thought it was kind of interesting, but ultimately it was just not great quality. Then I found this vintage blouse. I loved the wrap and the flowers, but ultimately I didn't get it. 
Then we moved on to the cardigans because again, I love a look where the cardigan is buttoned all the way up for spring. I think it looks so good. You could always wear a t-shirt underneath of it in case you need to layer and it gets warmer later in the day since that happens so often in the spring. And I love this little red Banana Republic cardigan. So I took it. This hasn't been super duper successful, but we have found some cute things. Let's check out the sleeveless tops now. I found a green tube top, which I ultimately left behind because I just didn't really need it. I wish this fit me. This was definitely a top that goes with like a matching prom dress, but I really, really liked it. It was in the wrong size, unfortunately. This would have been great for 2000s, but I didn't get it. Now, this is a good warning to actually look at the silk they're advertising, because there's no way that this was 100% pure silk. No way. Next, we found a little purple linen top, and it was beautiful. Again, it looked like something that would go with a skirt, and I couldn't tell if it was handmade or not. I didn't end up getting it. And finally, we found this Ralph Lauren top. I liked the lace, but the V was just way too deep for me. We then skedaddled over to the skirts and I found this brown embroidered skirt that I didn't get and this leather skirt that I did get. Moving on to the shoes, I really struggle with shoes. It's just hard to find ones that fit and maybe it would help if I didn't wear socks to the thrift store. I need to remember to bring little tights. I found these pink Marc Jacobs flats, that would be 2000s, and these little loafers. Finally, I found these designer heels. I was stunned. They're Ferragamo, they're red, they have a buckle on them, and you can just tell by the way I was moving. I was really shocked. I tried them on and I thought they were really cute. Apart from them being designer, I just knew I needed to have them for spring. And then finally, we checked out the bags where I found this really cool vintage embroidered bag. I loved it. We took it home. Now let's go home for the try on haul. Okay, so we are back home now. I have everything I got right there. Now, I didn't necessarily style all of these things for the 2000s, but I just kind of went with whatever I thought was cute. So anyways, let's get into the haul. So first off, this was the final thing that I found, and it is this vintage bag. I love it so much. I feel like so many modern bags are taking like this design and making them these days. It has all these really pretty colorful embroidered flowers on it. It has brown fake leather trim. It has wood edges. It's kind of in like bad shape. The wood is cracking on the sides and the buckle is gone on the front here. The inside is also like just the nastiest pleather you ever did see. But all that to say, it's so cute. It's so 70s. The way I styled it was with a yellow button up and these light cowboy boots. And I feel like it's just a very 70s outfit that's good for spring. I think I might try to order something on Amazon to like put a clip back in through the hole so that I can secure it. I might wear it out or I might just use it for decor, honestly. I think it would be really cute hanging on your wall. Anyways, there's unfortunately no brand on it, but I do really think it's vintage and I'm glad I got it just because of how unique it was. Next up, I found these white shorts. Now, I go to the shorts pretty often, but I never really find anything that I like. But this time, I found these cute little Joe Fresh linen cotton blend shorts, and you know that I love linen. I think they fit me really well. They're tight around the waist, but then they billow out along the legs, and they're super light and breezy. And then I'm styling it with this like tie up in the back top that I made. And I think these two pieces together makes it look so 50s, just with like the silhouette. Like it's kind of bigger in the shoulders, comes in at the waist, then billows out again. It's something I want to recreate in the spring and in the summer, but I'm glad I got these shorts. I think they'll be really versatile for the summer and just so light and breathable. Really happy that I found them. Next up, I got this red sweater. Now, red was a really big trend in the winter, fall, and the spring, but I also just really love red. It's one of my favorite colors, and the brand was Banana Republic and it's 82% merino wool. I love that. The only thing is it's also 16% nylon and 2% lycra. I don't like that. It has really cute fabric colored buttons. It's nice and tight on me in the arms and I am styling it in more of like a 2000s spring way. So I'm wearing these low rise trousers and then these like block heeled loafers that I got that are Harley Davidson. In this outfit, I'm wearing it buttoned up all the way to the top as like a shirt in itself, but I think it would also be really cute over top of a shirt. Moving on, I got this leather skirt. The brand is Dalmies. It's a really, really nice leather. It has a slit in the back and I styled it a couple different ways. I think my favorite was with this jean shirt that has a little like 
tie in the back so it like comes in at the waist and then billows out like a peplum top then i'm wearing these like little blue sheer socks it's not bad i don't know i just feel like i really need to tan and maybe wear some more jewelry to like really bring the look together and i also tried it with this tight asymmetrical white top that i got from winners from banana republic for like six dollars but anyways happy that i got this leather skirt and finally i got these red ferragamo heels i was so surprised when i saw them because this brand seriously their shoes and their bags and just everything they sell is so expensive and high quality these shoes should be full grain leather i believe they're a really pretty red color they have a nice silver buckle on the front i love them so much they were made in italy these are seriously so expensive like i don't know 800 a thousand dollars the one and only thing is that these back straps are almost a little bit too loose for me it makes me feel a little bit wobbly in them but i love them so much i don't want to get rid of them i want to wear them the way i'm styling it is with these dark wash blue pants and that red sweater that we got earlier because i thought all the colors just look really cute together and i liked like the color sandwich in the outfit i don't know we'll see i really love them though i think they're super pretty so that was everything I got. Now hold your horses, Rebecca, because that is not everything that I got. I also picked up this vintage Pyrex mushroom bowl. It's very cute. I'm gonna use it for mixing things. Moving on. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below. If I had to choose my favorite piece, it would probably be the red shoes or the white shorts. I really, really love those. Don't forget to check out Dossier using the link in my description box below. And I finally released a new things on Blue Genoa, so you can check that out below as well. Yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.